the tyrant told me I'm the mogul. To me, I'm king to them, I'm Chernobyl. On the bigger scale, looking more like global. They look at me and they see disposal. I look at them and I read a threat. It's all not to paint them a scene. What's up, everybody? Since a lot of you guys are playing the level 29 bracket, I thought I would give you a little overview of my build I'm currently running. And first thing I want to say, I'm so glad that some of you guys are actually trying out level 29 PvP because I think it's like so much better than the 265 bracket. And the other thing is that you have to stop hating on each other because Facebook I see so many posts saying yeah if you play level 29 you just can't handle the 30 plus bracket or the 265 bracket you're just a bad player in general and want to kill noobs <clears throat> on the other side I see players saying yeah if you play the 265 plus bracket you're just trash and like gear set reliant and that's just stupid like stop saying that shit if you want to play level 29, you will play level 29. If you want to play 265+, plus, you will play that. No one cares what you play. Stop hating on that shit, like, no one cares at all. <clears throat> yeah, let's get right into the build. For my weapons, I'm using an MP7, which I was pretty lucky to get. It has competent, responsive and vicious. Um, for my weapon mods, they are pretty bad, I have a reflex sight with crit chance as a major. You wanna have crit damage, crit chance and headshot damage. Extended mag is actually pretty good, uh, almost 100% mag size, crit chance and rate of fire. You can actually buy this magazine um, if you wanna see what the vendors are selling. Check out my vendor reset video I did on level 29. Um, the small grip has crit damage, reload speed accuracy. Vent break has crit damage, headshot damage and stability. So not optimized but that's what I have at the moment. For my secondary I'm using a lightweight M4 which I was really really lucky to get. Um, it has unforgiving, vicious and responsive. Um, cannot buy this weapon, I found it um, from a DZ boss. And for my weapon mods they're almost the same. Crit chance, crit damage, headshot damage on my holo side. Extended mag, it's the same as on my MP7. 15% uh, crit damage, stability, optimal range. And crit damage, crit chance, stability on my event break. So as you can see, um, I have some stability on my mods. And yeah, that helps a little bit with the recoil, because you don't have the bonus from striker. And as for my pistol, I'm using a first wave X45, the pistol doesn't really matter. I would like to get um, predatory and cool headed on it, but I don't have any phoenix to reroll it, so that's what I have at the moment. <coughs> and for my chest, I have a vigorous chest piece. Uh, this is obviously for group play, because I think in level 29, if you want to go manhunt against the server you have to have a healer build in your group that runs a support station and defibrillator. Um, my vigorous chest has skill haste, health, ammo capacity and yeah thanks to mythical vulpix for giving it to me because this is a really good role. As for my mods I'm using crit chance and my mask is a refreshed mask, um, also modded with uh, electronics mod with skill haste. <laughs> and I choose to go for refresh because it helps you a lot more than tenacious, in my opinion. Because tenacious, you can only activate it five times, maybe a few more times if you're lucky with your med kit. And with refresh you just get like heals from your <coughs> support station when you plop it. You also get the heal, like the better healing from your first aid self heal. And you also get better healing from green alt and all that good stuff. So I choose to go refreshed. <laughs> On my knee pads, I, uh, the talent doesn't really matter. 
Uh, it has electronics, crit damage, burn resistance, bleed resistance and shock resistance. You could you can also buy this pair of knee pads. Like I said, check out the vendor reset video. There's actually pretty good stuff you can buy there. For my backpack I'm using specialized. Firearms, crit damage, ammo capacity. Maybe I'll reroll ammo capacity to burn resistance, but yeah, this is what I'm using at the moment. Because you run out of ammo really quick. Uh, for my gloves, I have Savage Gloves. They have a really good roll with skill haste, assault rifle damage, and crit damage. Pretty high stamina as well. You want to have Savage as your talent. The other talents don't really make sense. And for my holster, I'm using a Nimble holster with high main stats and crit chance. I also bought this holster, so yeah, you can have the same, just have to recalibrate it a little. As for my performance mods, I'm using first aid self heal, 5.5%. Um, I couldn't get better performance mods. And I'm actually not that sure if you can get 6% first aid self heal. <clears throat> so that's what I'm using at the moment. Uh, this build has its focus around firearms and stamina, as you can see, because it's a it's a group PvP build. I just got enough electronics to unlock competent on my MP MP7, and the rest goes into stamina and firearms. Vicious is actually a pretty good talent, I would say, because with the level 29 you can use Vigorous and get overheal. So Vicious is active a lot longer than in the normal bracket. So I would actually try that out. For my character sheet for my MP7 I have 52.5% crit chance. It would be almost at 60% when you consider the Savage Gloves which is almost too much because you really want to get some crit damage too but like I said I didn't find a better uh, reflex side yet crit damage is 86 I could get to I don't know 100% maybe when I get better mods shot damage 55 accuracy stability doesn't really matter let's look at the skills my skill haste is 17% because I have it on the chest, on the gloves and on some mods. Um, survivability, myself is 72. Armor. I would like to get this disrupt resistance instead of bleed resistance, but <clears throat> like I said, this build is not min-maxed. And for my M4, the stats are 31% crit chance. Uh, this is actually pretty good for assault rifle because I'm missing crit chance on my gloves. And if you consider the savage gloves, I have uh, 38. And if somebody runs a pulse, I'm pretty good with crit chance on my M4. 89% crit damage, 79 headshot damage, 4% stability. And yeah, this this build works really good in group play. Uh, you do pretty good damage. Um, you survive also pretty good with the high toughness. And if you have a healer in your group, it's perfect for the vigorous chest piece. And I'm also using a booster shot since it has a lot of ally heal. I would use that it would help me more but it's not the team so I choose to go booster shot and normally I'm using a support station you could also do uh, disrupt or you can use a pulse and for my talents I use adrenaline cause in the level 29 bracket there's also a lot of guys using turrets and cheese and I'm also using on the move to increase my toughness a little when I 
shoot a turret or shoot a player that's downed. And strike back because skills are actually pretty useful in this up, like in this bracket. So uh, strike back is useful. And combat medic, of course, to give your allies healing when you pop a medkit. <laughs> and yeah, that is all for the build. If you want to try it out, let me know how it worked for you. I will try this build out and try different builds as well and let you know how it works. And if I have another build I consider decent, I will make another build video. So if you enjoy these types of videos and if you also enjoy the weekly vendor reset I'm doing, just consider subscribing, I would appreciate it. And yeah, see you guys in level 29 bracket. Peace. Right here on the screen you can check out a video of group PvP gameplay with this build. And you can also check out the weekly vendor reset from level 29 I'm doing right now. I would really appreciate it.